A few weeks ago, I was able to attend the monthly get-together for the Rocky Mountain Smiths. This was in northern Colorado, John's new shop. He's not even done setting it up yet. It's really clean. Reminds me of John Rajoni's shop. Seems like there's a lot of Johns in the blacksmithing community. It was a wonderful weekend. The weather was nice. And John demonstrated the forging of the components for a Lancaster-style hacksaw frame. Take a picture of that. <laughs> <laughs> It was certainly an interesting demonstration. I learned a few things, and hopefully we will try our own version of this hacksaw frame right here early next year. I don't think I'm gonna do it the next month or so, but hopefully soon we'll be able to make something like that right here on YouTube. Even though at most of these demonstrations, you're kind of on your own for lunch, but here John and his wife got the grill out, cooked hamburgers and brats, and we had a nice meal. Plenty of room inside the heated shop for everybody to sit down and enjoy their lunch, have a nice conversation. Now, it's not my intent to share the entire demonstration here on YouTube. I don't think that would be fair to the people who attended the demonstration in person and paid to be there. And I don't want to put myself in the front to get the best camera angles. So what I show you here is just a taste of what you might experience if you get involved with your local blacksmithing group. Over the years, one of the things you ask me the most is, how do I learn blacksmithing? Or where do I get the equipment? And this is the way you do it. You get involved with your local group. Now, take local with a grain of salt. This is a five hour drive for me to go up to one of these demonstrations. I went up on Friday, I stayed the night with a friend who is in that area, went to the demonstration, came, drove home Saturday late afternoon, got home in time for a late dinner. So for me, local isn't just something you hop on a city bus and drive an hour across town to go to. You have to be committed to being part of the group and to learning and wanting to get involved with something like this. If you're in the United States, Abana.org is an excellent place to start. That's the national organization. Abana has affiliate groups. Rocky Mountain Smiths, the group I belong to, is one of those affiliate groups. And we have members in Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, Wyoming, Nebraska, probably some in Oklahoma and Kansas. I think we've had some in California, Oregon, and even some international members over the years. So there's nothing to stop you from being involved in one of these groups. And even if you can't make it to the regular demonstrations, you might be able to make it to some, but you get the advantage of newsletters and sometimes a Facebook group, email group, someplace you can ask questions and interact with your fellow blacksmiths. There are groups like this worldwide. There may not be one real close to you, but like I say, you can still join, participate online, and get the benefit of any newsletters or other things that they might mail out. Anyways, I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you Sunday for a regularly scheduled video.